as you're probably aware, the Supreme Court came down with a decision on same-sex marriage. And unfortunately, it's the decision that we expected and that we predicted. But as we said earlier, we had a plan. That plan is still in place. And we plan to now begin to execute that plan. First, it involves focusing on the courts. Uh, there's an election coming up uh, uh, a little over a year away, but that is way too late to be involved in this battle. There are battles already starting, as we predicted. Uh, only two days after the decision, already Time Magazine ran an editorial saying that the tax-exempt status of all religious organizations should be forfeited. And many other battles have started. So focusing on the courts is going to be key. Number two, use the existing laws we have to keep winning. We've got a Religious Freedoms Restoration Act. We have the United States Constitution. I mean, one of the things we've been telling the media is that last week's decision did not overrule the First Amendment. The First Amendment is still well and alive, both free speech and the free exercise of religion. Number three, use new laws to win. We're already involved in states and in the federal legislature in simply helping them to craft and pass new legislation that protects people in their religious beliefs, even if they disagree with the federal government's new definition of marriage. Number four, use religious liberty audits to protect churches and ministries and businesses. We already have that available online at libertyinstitute.org under Are You Protected? It has not only the legal documents you need to look at of these organizations, these churches, these businesses, these ministries, but it even has sample language they can use to make sure they're fully protected for when these types of attacks began to come against them. And number five, we need to expand our winning formula. The key to us is the volunteer attorneys that are the lifeblood of what we do. But our office, our home office, is the support for that lifeblood, that group of attorneys across the country. In order for us to do more cases, which we know we are going to have to do with this onslaught that's coming, we need more attorneys on staff to be support. And for every attorney we bring on staff, we free up 20 national litigators who can give their time. So we are going to try to build that. That will depend upon our supporters. Uh, I encourage you, encourage other people. This is not the end. This is the very beginning of the battle for religious freedom, and it's a battle that we can win.